Hey folks, Revolutionary Brewer here. We're back with another uh, Friday afternoon homebrew kit review. So this time we're going to try a little something new. It's the first time for me anyways. Uh, we're going to try out one of these. Uh, it's a Morgan's Royal Oak Amber Ale Kit. Um, this is the first time I've ever tried the Morgan's. Um, just to let you know, I've already had a few of these, so this isn't going to be brand new to me. But uh, we'll open it up, we'll give it a pour, we'll have a look at it, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about the kit, how the beer was made, uh, pretty much the uh, standard fare around here. So, let's get right down to it, we'll try to keep it short. Uh, here's what we got, it's uh, brewed in a red stripe bottle, a nice little stubby bottle. I like to mix up the bottles a bit, try a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So we'll open it up. And we'll pour it today in a nice Corona glass. So let's give it a pour and we'll see how it looks. Again, this is the Morgan's Royal Oak Amber Ale. And there we have it. Alright, so as you can see here, nice and carbonated. It's got a nice head on it. And uh, as far as aesthetics go, this is a beautiful looking beer. It, it's like perfectly amber, just like the kit says. It's a beautiful amber, nice head on it. So, as far as appearance goes, I mean, you can't ask for much more than this. You'd have to give it about a 5 out of 5, 4.5 out of 5. It's got a touch of chill haze, a uh, little touch of chill haze, as you can see. But uh, that happens with a lot of beers. You can't uh, fault the kit because of that. And, of course, the glass is a little bit cloudy because of the cold. Well, let's give it a try. First ever Morgan's kit that I've brewed. Let's uh, see how it turned out. Not bad, not bad. Um, it's it's good beer. It's good beer. I don't want to say anything negative about it, but when you compare it with maybe the Brewcraft kits and the Cooper's kits, it's a little bit bland. Um, now, don't get me wrong. This is a good beer. I, I'm enjoying this beer. It's just not quite up to the uh, standards of the Coopers and the Brewcraft. Those kits, you'll notice uh, the flavor will just be bursting out of it. This is a little bit bland. With that being said, it's a nice, light, refreshing beer, uh, a session beer. You could, you know, on a hot summer's night, you could knock back a dozen of these. They go down very smooth, very light tasting. Not, a, not an unpleasant beer, just a, more of a bland beer. Let's have another taste here. It's just, it's basically, it tastes like a light ale. Um, it's, it's got a darker color to it, but it almost tastes like, uh, it almost tastes like a Budweiser. Um, as odd as that, it doesn't look like a Budweiser, but it almost tastes like a Budweiser. Uh, it's very bland. Uh, I don't want to use that word too much bland. It's it's not a bad beer, but uh, it's just it's not bursting with flavor. It's got a little bit of hops, a little bit of malt, uh, nice and light. Uh, this is a nice summery beer, something you'd probably want to have on a hot summer day. Uh, like I said, the color's a little bit darker, but don't let that fool you because uh, certainly the taste is uh, it's not all that uh, strong. So. Uh, I'd say this kit, uh, we'll give her a two and a half out of five, uh, and I don't want to, you know, if you guys want to give this a try, definitely give it a go. Um, I made the kit, I'll put the recipe up on the screen. We used uh, the old standard, uh, we used one kit, one and a half uh, pounds of liquid malt extract, and one and a half pounds of high malt glucose, and then we topped it up to 20 liters. So, like I said, this uh, kit here, I would say, go ahead and give it a try. I mean, if you like light beers, lighter flavored beers, this might be the kit for you. And it's possible that maybe I just didn't have the right combination of ingredients or brewing temperatures to bring out the best in this kit. So, uh, if anyone else has tried any of these Morgan's kits and has had uh, better success, I'm not saying this is a failure. This is still a good beer. I'm still going to enjoy these for sure. But it's not quite up to the standard of the Coopers and the Brewcraft. Um, just, uh, I, I received a comment there from uh, a subscriber down in Florida, Ned. He's one of the best fishers down there in Florida catching those jackfish. But he said, 
stop using the Corona products, he says. It'll make the beer taste like uh, Corona beer. And I have to admit, uh, I do use the big Corona bottles, and uh, the only reason I did buy the Corona, I don't, I don't really like Corona, and I'm not a guy that bashes the commercial beers, because I like most of the commercial beers, but Corona just always tastes skunky, but I found the one thing that does help, and I think it's the combination that you have to have. You have to have a really hot summer day, like 30 degrees at least, and then chill it down really cold in the freezer. Uh, like get it till it's almost frozen, and then uh, take it out. I think it's a combination of the extreme cold and the heat of the summer day. It actually kills that skunky flavor, and you can down her. It's actually pretty good, but... Uh, yeah, not a big Corona fan, but the bottles are great for brewing. It's got the big, um, it's like, I guess, 24-ounce bottles or whatever. But anyways, we got some more reviews coming up. Next one out day on the pipe, I think, is uh, Cooper's English Bitter. And then we're going to get a Mutton's Kid on the go. going to get one of those on the go this week, so we'll have a review of that later on as well. A whole bunch of reviews coming up, so... Uh, keep on brewing guys uh, if you have any suggestions a kit you want me to try uh, go ahead and just send me a message and I'll try to get to them we're gonna try to get as many done as we can alright uh, cheers have a good weekend